Hi everyone, my name is Andrew Sorensen and welcome to our July market update. So all those accountants, just settle down for a moment. I know it's uh, you know end of the financial year, beginning of the new financial year, you're probably super excited. But before we get into that, let's talk about a couple of the recent results. So let's kick off into some great results here. Number 22, Victoria Avenue at Tookley. So this was a, a beautiful home, three bedroom property. It's actually the third time I've sold this in my career. And we did it once again, prior to auction, $450,000. So that was uh, close to $65,000 above the initial starting guide. Uh, so a lot of interest on that one. Three parties fought it out at the end. Uh, another property that we just recently sold, number 12, Garangai Close at Wadalba. This was a block of land the last block available in this estate. Uh, had a 21 metre frontage, very unique position, and this one sold uh, in around about eight weeks for full price, $315,000. Some new properties to bring you this month. Uh, you might have just heard me talk about 12 Garanga close block of land. Well, now I want to show you number six, Cuttable Road at Wadalba. So this is in the same estate. It's a four bedroom, two bathroom, two car garage design home, just on two years of age. Uh, so this particular property here, uh, we're expecting to be very, very busy. Now the bidding guide on this one is going to be 570, so we're expecting a lot of interest from families and some investors. Currently an investment property this one, so we'll keep you posted how that goes over the coming weeks. Another great property which is hitting the market as we speak is number 75 Blue Ridge Drive, Blue Haven. This is a four bedroom, two bathroom, two car garage design home. Uh, but the great thing about this is it's got one garage attached to the house and then it's got one garage sort of to the side. So you've actually got side access. So heaps of potential there to park a boat, a caravan, motorhome off the street, which is something you don't normally get. So this one's kicking off with a price guide of $480,000. So a first open house this weekend. So hopefully we've got a lot of interest on that and we can keep you posted. Now, as I mentioned before, yeah, we're, we're now in the new financial year. So the accountants are high-fiving, it's uh, you know, closing off the end of year books, everything's getting really exciting. But what does that mean for you? Well, if you're an investor, new financial year, the banks open up the cash. That's right. So as we get to the end of financial year, they start to hit all their targets and they really start to clamp down on the improvals. Now that we're coming into July 1st, then everything starts to open up again. They've got a whole new year of funds to give out. So you expect them to be spending like drunken sailors. They'll be throwing money at you. So now's a really good time if you haven't thought about a property to actually get in contact with your lender and see if they're gonna be a little bit more open to giving funds to you this time of year. Uh, what does it mean for first home buyers? Well, once again, first home buyers, you've been in this great position over the last six, six or eight months where there hasn't been a heck of a lot of competition from investors. But now you've had one interest rate cut, you've had those passed on by most of the major banks. A lot of people are forecasting, yeah, another 0.25 interest rate cut this coming month. You're gonna start to see that you've got more competition. So if you have been hanging back, waiting for that perfect property, now might be a time to really look at what you're looking for and maybe make some uh, you know, adjustments to your expectations and maybe jump into the market because what I'm seeing this far out, I think we're gonna see a price spike come spring. We haven't seen the usual amount of properties hit the market over winter. Financing is getting easier. The conditions are sitting there for a very uh, stable ride coming into Christmas. So that normally means that investors are gonna come back in, then you're gonna have more difficulty finding the home that you really, really wanna buy. So if you need any help, give us a call. We're happy to guide you through the process if you're a first home buyer or you're looking up upgrading your portfolio, by all means get in touch with us as well if you're an investor. But uh, my name is Andrew Sorens. We look forward to helping you soon.